Now you would have to know if you have any biblical understanding whatsoever and honesty about you that there have, <laughs> God has had to be angry at times with this nation. <clears throat> the way, excuse me, the, the way that we've rejected him and rebelled and the crazy things we've done and on and on and on. I, but I did not feel his anger. I felt the compassion of a father. The compassion a father would feel for a prodigal. And he said to me at one point, now I need a tissue, sorry. <laughs> Give me a tissue, I'm going to take authority over this. <laughs> Let me just embarrass myself in front of the world. Okay. <laughs> And I, I don't know what's going on in my throat, but I did take authority over it and then took an Allegra. So I'm, I'm good. <laughs> <clears throat> so I may have to clear my throat a few times. But uh, he said to me, what I am going to do in this season, and I knew that was a long season, not the next week, over the next years, decades, he said, what I'm about to do in the world, and I will never forget this. He said to me as I laid there on the floor weeping, I must have America. Come on. He said, to do what I am going to do, I must have America. And you're going to help me get it. <laughs> and because of that impartation and the strength of that encounter, I will say, honestly, since that day, I have never doubted. He is coming to save this nation through a great awakening and outpouring of his spirit. Turn us back to where we need to be. All those words that Hank was saying earlier. All the re-words. It's all going to happen. And everything he intended for this nation, we're going to do it. And he, listen. Well, come on. Let's just do it right. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, sir. And, you know, I think you can be see. I think it was Reagan. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure, but I believe it was Reagan he, who said 20, 30 years ago, what had been probably 30 years ago. Uh, there is there is no other hope. He looked at the other nations leaders and he said, if if America falls, it's all over for everybody. Because the idiots that would try to take over the world, that want to take over the world, the, the crazy people out there that have that, that even now are planning to do that. Amen. There is no stopping them without America. But, I mean, I don't want to get off on that, but it's this is this is all connected and it's all about harvest. It's all about God's love for people. This is not just so America can have a lot of money. And we can all have things and be the leader and the strongest. This is all about the eternal purposes of God in the earth. Now, I've had three words that I've experienced one way or another, either given to me by someone else or, or I heard over the last month. I'm going to share those briefly, comment on them, and then probably wrap this up with a few a verse or two from Joshua because I think we're in Joshua right now yeah. 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 and Joshua is that book where 400 plus years of prophecy and work from Holy Spirit from Yahweh to Abraham right on through the forming of a nation it's all about to be fulfilled and they're going to possess the land yeah. that's what Joshua is all about so <clears throat> that's where we are we're about to cross over and possess. That's what the word uh, Hebrew means. Abar is the word. It means he who crosses over. 
God called Abraham a Hebrew because he was willing to cross over. It means cross out, cross into. That's who we, we're Hebrew. That's a good, that's a good place to say amen. amen. We are those who cross over. Amen. So I was speaking in Indiana about a month ago-ish. And I was up in just starting my message, maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes into it. And I felt the atmosphere in the room change dramatically. It was not a bad thing. It was not evil, but it, I knew it was God, but it was not peaceful and pleasant. It wasn't one of these times when the sweetness or the glory of the Lord or a holy presence that's calming and awesome. It was sort of a fear of the Lord that came in. Nobody asked for it. We weren't praying. I was just talking. And I started, I tried to keep going. I tried, you know, when you're up doing this, you're trying to just do a lot of things at once. You know, what is he saying? What is he doing? What do I do with this? But you keep talking and you're trying to keep moving in, into the message, but you're trying to be alert and aware. And finally, it just became, it, became, it, it intensified to the point where I realized I'm just going to have to stop and, and deal with this or, or talk about it or ask, what are you doing, Lord? Because I could tell everybody was starting to feel it. And when I did, I, I did not have an open vision, but it was such a mental picture that it was, it was, a, it was a vision. But it was just that flash that comes to you. You see it in your spirit and in your mind. And I saw the Lord, Jesus. And he was staring intently at something. And he was not happy. He was angry. And then I saw a principality. And I saw him staring at this principality. And then he said, I'm coming to deal with that spirit. <clears throat> and nobody seeing what I was seeing would have any doubt that he was going to and that he could, he could deal with it. And I believed at the time I knew what that spirit was. This was not a demon that was messing with a city or a person. This was a spirit that was a world ruler, one of the spirits that would be, I, I knew was ruling, leading, coordinating, involved with uh, the kingdom of darkness on a broad scale, yeah. nations. And I think, I think, I felt at the time I knew what it was. I still think I, th I know what it is, but I, I, I have to honestly say God has never really told me exactly. And I don't think it's appropriate to guess. So I've never said. But I've been praying into that. Amen. I haven't said a lot about it. Mentioned it once or twice. Amen. I think I said it maybe on the post of Giving 15. That I'm sure all of you get up early in the morning and it's the first thing you do is watch me on Giving 15. <laughs> Some of you haven't graduated to that level of the kingdom yet. But <laughs> thus, you remain somewhat uninformed, but you will mature into that, I'm sure. <laughs> 